Raiders rallying from down 10 early in the Monday Night Football. Three touchdown drives of 10 plays or more. They put together some significant drives in the Monday Night game. We heard, heard the touchdown to Darren Waller, which came out fourth and goal at the one. Derek Carr converting a play after he recovered his own fumble. Yeah, no doubt. That, uh, that took a lot of you-know-what from Coach Gruden. And uh, um, I'm proud of Daniel. Daniel's having a baby tonight also. Uh, so he'll walk with his chest out a little bit, and he should. <laughs> you guys got off to a little bit of a slow start, but then scored 24 unanswered points to kind of pull away. What started rolling for you guys? You know what? We have a, we have a really good team. And, uh, you know, it's easy when something like that happens against a really good team. Uh, to go back into the old ways of woe is me and here we go again and that's not this team at all you know Lisa and I'm proud of our guys because this is a different group we believed it at the beginning of the year no one thought we'd be 2-0 and right now but I'm proud of our guys you told us that the world was going to see the tight end that you have they were going to see in him tonight what you guys already knew yeah. what did the world see about Darren Waller tonight they saw a lot of catches and a lot of yards and a nice touchdown <laughs> you know they see, uh, they see someone who's recovered uh, from addiction. They see someone who's a success story. I'm into those kind of stories nowadays. I think people can know that about me. I think he doesn't get enough credit for the amazing job he's done as an individual and his support group around him. A couple years ago, this wasn't what he was on his mind. And here he is on Monday Night Football, really making, having the best day of his life. And so I, I'm proud of him. And God bless him. I love him. I love throwing the ball to him. Really a great story. You guys had three touchdown drives of 10 plays or more. How important was that your, your offense staying on the field, keeping Drew Brees off the field? Yeah, usually when you do that, you know, the, the scores aren't as high, you know. And you got to score with limited possessions when, when you got to do that, you know. Everyone knows we're going to run the ball, you know. And uh, everyone knows that. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna feature Josh and kill the clock and things like that. But at the same time, we can also play fast, and we got weapons outside, and it's a lot of fun. Nice way to break in the new building, huh? Yeah, it's real nice. I'm gonna go sign the wall right now. Raiders with the two 0 start, winning the opener in Las Vegas. You heard him talking about Darren Waller, second most receptions in a game by a tight end in Monday Night Football history. Waller winding up with a dozen. Jason Witten has the most with 13, 12 for Waller. And then after the win, he joined Freddie and Fitzsimmons here on ESPN Radio. It really evolved from once I first got to the team at the end of 2018. And um, there would be team Bible studies. And it was just a place where I could come in there and be vulnerable about things I was dealing with um, and things I had been through. And Derek was real open, never judged me in any way. And then once I kind of realized that, I was like, oh, there's like a guy that I don't want to let down. And he's always been there for me, always, you know, talking to me about greatness and, you know, how I could do, you know, whatever, accomplish whatever I want to accomplish. He just poured a lot into me. And so I was like, I don't want to let him down. I want to be there for him. And that carries on through the offseason. Any little thing that he wants, I try to be there, try to communicate with him as good as I possibly can. And I think that kind of stuff pays off. I'm like, I'm just trying to pride myself on consistency. Um, you know, I always reflect on the early parts of my career where I was inconsistent and unavailable and nobody could really count on me. Um, so I just try to tap into that and realize like I have the power to be consistent and I can I need to do that every week and just put it on the line for my teammates give it the best effort that I have and I feel like when I do that and I'm prepared I feel like I'll, I'll like the results. Darren Waller earlier on Freddie Fitzsimmons on ESPN radio as the Raiders get the win over the Saints on Monday Night Football New Orleans one and one for the third straight season coach Sean Payton. We've got to be precise with what we're doing in the passing game route wise I'm just saying it, the, the last two weeks, I think it's been average at best offensively. And that starts with us. It starts with me. And uh, we got to be better.